Hello, welcome to part 4 of the UGX Mod Standalone Installation for Developers. In this video segment, I will show you how to configure UGX Mod Standalone Game Mode settings for your specific map. I will also briefly touch on how to port over existing script modifications to UGX Mod. First, we must open Root Mods Map Name, which in my case is UGX Mod Install. Double click on ugxmod.iwd to open it with WinRAR. If this is not the default behavior for your computer, take the necessary action to open the file with WinRAR. I will not cover this in the video. Open the Maps folder within the IWD, and then find at the bottom of the list ugxmod ugxm underscore user underscore settings dot gsc. Double click the file to open it with your favorite text editor. This file contains virtually all configurable settings for UGX Mod. The default settings were personally chosen by the developers to provide the ideal out-of-the-box experience for, de for developers, for third-party developers, but you are free to change whatever you wish. Among the most popular settings to change will probably be the boss setting, which can be disabled on line 45 by changing the true to false, and the gun game gun tier list starting on line 120 which allows you to change the prices for each gun and remove or add guns to the gun game list. There's also a sharpshooter list and a power-up list. At the bottom of the file there is documentation for all the functions that are in this file as well as above all code blocks and settings there's a description of the settings and the possible value for the settings. Due to the extensive documentation in this file, I will not spend any longer talking about it because it is self-explanatory. Once you are finished editing, save and close the file. So I'm going to go ahead and edit a setting here. I'm going to change objectives to false because my map does not have objectives. And then I'm going to save the file and close it. And when I minimize my text editor, I will see file ugxm user settings.gsc was modified. Do you wish to update in the archive? Yes that will update the settings file for you. Then you can close the archive. There's also a function, I should show this why I had the file open, but um, well, let me backtrack here a little bit. Um, if you wish to port your custom scripts to UGX Mod, you will want to edit the files within this IWD, the UGX Mod IWD Maps folder. Um, there's also some files in ugxmguns.iwd that you may need to edit. Generally, if you need to call a custom function or file, you can still call them from your map.gsc, which is not edited or otherwise modified by ugxmod. ugxmod is cleverly called from early on in the script flow before the engine even runs your map.gsc. There's also a function at the end of ugxm user settings.gsc called post underscore load, which you can call scripts from. This function runs after the menu game mode menu selection is finished and gameplay starts. Now you are ready to add prefabs to your map, which is covered in part 5 of this series.